Here with men's soccer coach Pete Watkins. Coach, a tough loss on Saturday. Double overtimes have not been very kind to you this year. Uh, talk a little bit about the 2-1 loss to Concordia. Yeah, we uh, oh, were gutted by the result, really. You know, I mean, uh, their kid, uh, Wood Leitner, uh, scored a great goal with about a minute to go. Um, you know, there's no secret in, in the way they play. He's key for them, and uh, he stepped up and made a big play. We needed guys to step up and make big plays in the game, and it didn't happen for us. So um, got to give a lot of credit to him particularly and their team in general for putting themselves uh, in a position to win the game. Uh, we were happy to fight back. We went down 1-0 on a free kick. Um, it's basically whichever team had the win kind of dominated play for the most part. And so our guys battled back and found a way to score, which is great. But um, at the end of the day, we weren't good enough in the parts of the field that you, you need to be good at. Talk a little bit about the play of Joey Petrich. He had a great game, equaled his career high in, in uh, saves with 14, obviously kept you in the game as much as he could. Uh, talk a little bit about his play, not only Saturday, but all season. Yeah, he, uh, he was asked to do a lot uh, against Concordia. Like I said, the wind was a huge factor, and uh, particularly when they had the wind at their back, they, they did a much better job of using it than we did. Uh, so he, I mean, he went through the whole range of saves. You know, he had to um, play a lot of balls over the, the crossbar for corners. Uh, distribution was a challenge because of the conditions, etc. And he's done everything that uh, you can be expected of a goalkeeper. He's really stood up to some tough games. And, uh, you know, certainly not going to get any easier uh, going down the, the rest of our schedule. And let's talk about Wednesday. As you said, nothing gets uh, any easier for you. You've got probably one of the best teams in the country coming here on Wednesday in Loris. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, Wednesday's game against the, the Dewhawks. Yeah, obviously a great program and a little different this year with uh, Coach Rizzo on our staff being a Loris alum. I think we're going to make him honorary head coach for the day and uh, give him a shot at him. But they, uh, yeah, fantastic team, uh, lots of talent. You know, they've got guys on their JV team that would start at uh, probably most Mayak schools and most other schools in their league. And so uh, there'll be a big challenge for us. Frankly, we need some young guys to step up. Um, we've given some older players a lot of opportunities, and they haven't produced. So we're going to give some young guys a, a good shot. And uh, if they play well against Loris, they can play well against anybody. You you kind of step out of conference here for the last time this uh, this season with Loris on Wednesday, and then you go to Edgewood on, on Sunday. Is it a good time in the schedule to have a little bit of break from conference play? I think so, yeah. We've got, um, you know, again, some guys that because of the league and, and trying to get points and all that haven't been able to play as much as, as they want or we want them to. So when you have some non-conference games, you get a chance to, to go deeper in your roster, uh, particularly when you, when you travel away. The, the MIAC has a rule now that we're limited when we travel uh, on how many guys can play in the game. And uh, so when we play non-league schools, we can go deeper in our bench, and uh, that's, that should be a benefit. And that starts on uh, Wednesday. You've got Loris here at 5 o'clock at Okamovich Field. Good luck, Coach. Great. Thank you.